one month, 250 miles. I'll give you a quick update on the 2.0 next on Crisscrossed. I know for over a month now, um, going on I think about five weeks or so, 250 plus miles in the books and uh, happy to report no problems whatsoever. The bike has performed flawlessly. Uh, I haven't had one issue, no error codes, no loose parts essentially. And uh, except for that the frame, a latch, which I talked about before, but um, it's, it's done really, really well uh, over this uh, last five weeks and since early August when I got the bike. Um, I've seen some, uh, I saw a complaint the other day in one of the Facebook groups saying, hey, I'm thinking about buying an electric bike, but I'm kind of concerned. I see all these uh, complaints here on the Facebook groups. And my reaction to that was, yeah, I'm sure there are problems here and there with bikes like this, but don't forget, they ship thousands of these bikes um, to people across the U.S. and Canada. So uh, there's bound to be, you know, a small amount of problems. I say 5%, 10% maybe, but the vast majority of uh, electric owners have reported no problems from what, I, from what I've seen uh, across all the Facebook groups. And, uh, you know, so take that for what you will. Don't take everyone, people complaining on Facebook as sort of a major problem, right? It's, it's a small subset of people that I think have those issues with these bikes. And uh, so, uh, you know, if you are considering an electric bike, it's to me the best uh, value when it comes to affordable, fat tire, foldable electric bikes. You just can't go wrong with a bike like this for the price of $9.99. So, uh, you know, take that for what it's will. Um, just one man's opinion. But, um, you know, I think it's a great bike. And uh, if, you, if you do buy one, I think you'd be very happy with it going forward. So let's see here. Um, so just a quick update. Uh, the brakes have been doing really well. Zero squeaks out of the brakes after 250 miles. I... Uh, when I first got the bike, I had bought some hydraulic uh, calipers I was going to use on the 1.0. Once I decided to upgrade, I saved those uh, so I could put them on the 2.0, but I found out quickly that they don't fit on the 2.0. So if you try and buy those hydraulic uh, brake calipers, those HP, uh, the HP 100 zooms on Amazon, they will not fit this bike because the wheels are smaller and the spokes will actually hit the actual caliper. It's too close together. You need like a spacer or something, people say anyway. Um, but uh, so actually, when I sold my 1.0, I gave the new owner the hydraulic brakes I bought. Uh, I threw them in, and uh, you know, it just won't fit in here. But I don't need them, so it, the, the brakes work great in this. I think it's because of the smaller tire size, perhaps, is why they're not squeaking. Just a theory, but um, I'm going with that. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I did put a aftermarket throttle on here. Um, I'll show you the video in a second, but uh, it's just a uh, kind of uh, single piece, no tools required. Just kind of fits over the actual thumb throttle itself, and uh, has some has uh, has grooves in it or teeth in it to really secure it to the thumb, thumb throttle. So that when you do hit it, it doesn't move. So take a look at that video now. So this is my new uh, thumb throttle piece. Um, I bought it off of. Uh, a website which I'll put in the uh, on the video here um, and uh, it fits really well over this I had a different one before that screwed in it had kind of uh, came around all the way around underneath but this is actually just one piece with teeth on the bottom and the teeth get it off of here for you uh, the teeth grip the uh, thumb throttle pretty well and uh, this thing does not move so you can see you can see here the teeth on it and it just clips over this just like that and there's your thumb throttle works really well and um, I think I've had three different versions of these and this one seems to work the best so they did a good job with the design of this one. Those teeth really grip this foam uh, twist throttle. And so I can do that. I can also, I can still use the tw twist throttle if I need to. But uh, yeah, I'm just really loving this design. And uh, I think they really figured out the, uh, you know, this 
3D printed add-on thumb throttle overlay you can put on this twist throttle. So nice job to whoever designed this. And again, I'll throw the link there in the um, in the uh, in the video and also in the des uh, video description. I think it's magnesium printing, something like that. Uh, it was on one of the Facebook groups. Saw it, took a chance, bought it. Um, it was pretty cheap, ten I think ten bucks, something like that. So uh, definitely well worth. Um, a try if you want to try a thumb throttle versus the uh the twist you know the thing with the twist if you're doing any kind of long rides at all you know more than an hour uh your i think your wrist does get a little tired so that's why i like the thumb throttle and um instead of using your whole wrist to turn and power the bike you know just quick uh flex of your thumb and off you go uh, i saw on one of the groups the other day on facebook that somebody found a travel bag for these things it's a it's on Amazon it's a 20 it's a basically a travel bag for a 26 inch uh, uh, foldable bike um, I'll put a link in the description as well to that but I thought it was an interesting uh, way to carry this thing I may actually buy one since um, I bought one of those totes but they don't really fit that well in my Subaru so uh, I may look at the bag itself as an option for uh, just you know taking it places um, overall so uh, yeah check out that link here's a picture of it too I'll put it on the screen and uh, I thought that was a neat um, potential uh, storage tote if you will is this travel bag that's kind of made out of the canvas oh I just bought some street tires so uh, I went into the, uh, the rad uh, bike site and uh, they've got three inch street tires with their reflective strip on the uh, sidewalls so I'm gonna put street tires on the 2.0 um, I want to get rid of the, the knobby tires because they're noisy and go with the street tire so it's a quieter ride. And I ride mostly on the street anyway. Um, I really, you know, I'm not going to take it off trails that much. If I do take it on a trail, it's a rail trail, which is pretty flat. And it doesn't really require knobby tires. So uh, those are coming soon and I'll do a video on those as well. I'll probably put the new free wheel on too that I have um, and see uh, how that improves the bike overall. But yeah, street tires are coming to my 2.0. Uh, just a quick note on the shipping updates. Uh, so on electric, I'm, I'm seeing people on the groups now get the bikes within two weeks. So it appears that they've uh, solved the sh shipping issues. They have a bunch of bikes in stock. I imagine it's because summer's over basically. And uh, I'm sure orders slowed down uh, as we entered into August and things like that. So yeah, if you are thinking about getting an electric bike, you should get it pretty quickly. Um, and that's good news for anybody looking to get into the e-bike scene. Uh, just a reminder on the batteries with these things. So I did buy the 14 amp hour AliExpress battery. But again, these do not, those, they don't sell them for the step through. They only sell them through the, for the XP uh, because they're a different shape. Uh, the step through battery has a sharper uh, angle to it in the front. So you cannot buy the 14 amp hour battery for the ST, so just make sure you're aware of that. I've seen a lot of comments. One of my most frequently asked questions on my uh, videos is, is about the step-through batteries. They just they don't sell them, unfortunately. I don't know why, because I think the step-through is the more popular bike. Um, but uh, yeah, you if, you if you do want the 14 amp hour, you have to have the uh, regular XP version, the, the high step, in order to get that. So uh, is what it is, guys. Uh, also, I saw that uh, some people are losing their keys. Uh, you can get a replacement key made. Um, and uh, apparently there are a couple of key blanks or certain types of key blanks you will need to get that key made. Someone on one of the groups said you can go to Ace Hardware, they'll cut it. Uh, they said it's the HD-75 key blank. Someone also said it's the Toyota key blank number TR33. Um, so I'm not sure which of those is actually true or not, but just some info for you. If you search for those in the uh, some of the Facebook groups for electric owners, uh, you can probably see some of those comments. But um, yeah, I wanted to note that because I did lose one of my keys on the 1.0. Um, no clue where it went, and uh, you know. So now what I do is I've got a little uh, keychain on mine, and I put the other key, uh, key on my car key uh, uh, ring. Uh, just so I have it there. So I separate the two. So make sure you kind of do that. Um, again, these keys never fall off, so I wouldn't worry about them falling off. But you do want to separate them and, you know, put the uh, spare one in a safe place somewhere. 
I got a comment the other day about the mirrors. So uh, these are the beach owl mirrors, and they're really great. Um, you know, they fold in. You can move them back and forth. And uh, uh, a person told me that the electric uh, mirrors they sell on the electric site uh, vibrate too much when you're riding them. It's hard to see. And uh, yeah, I think that was true. I, I bought a similar version and I didn't like how they vibrated. So these will not vibrate, these meat owls. They have a really thick uh, lever here in terms of uh, how they stick out. And they do a really good job. They also look cool too. I think they're coolest, the coolest looking mirrors you can put on a bike like this, at least on the top handlebar ones. Um, again, they swivel to meet your needs and they stick out past the handlebars so they give you a pretty good visibility. You don't see much of your arm when you're when you're riding. And I really love the meat chows. I had the left one at first, bought the right one. I moved the uh, shifter over just a little bit so I could fit them in there. And they, they actually, they're a slimmer fit too than the electric ones. Um, with that little, you know, the, the ring here that you attach them to the handlebars with. So, uh, yeah, shout out to the Meat Chows. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Uh, to me, the best mirror you can buy for the 2.0 handlebars here. And um, that's about it, guys. So, uh, my 250 mile update. Uh, definitely very happy with the bike. I've got some new bikes coming. So, finally got some uh, e-bike companies to uh, agree to send me some of their bikes. And so, I'm pretty stoked. Hope you should be getting my first one in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, and I uh, can't wait to uh, get out there. I'm going to go ride. I don't know about you, but it's a nice day out. I'm going to go ride this thing. Catch you later.